In this first video about mixing fuel and preparing fuel, I'm going to show you <laughs> the whole procedure. But first of all, the important things. Gloves, a really good dust mask, and safety glasses. Many experimenters actually mix the fuel ingredients inside a glove bag filled with argon. If I did that, you wouldn't be able to see much of it. So this batch, although we're gonna be use, using argon uh, for storage and covering purposes, this is being done out in the fresh air, as it were. Clean bench, quiet lab, no disturbances. Here you can see, I've already weighed out five grams of hydrogenated nickel powder. The next step will be to add the lithium aluminium hydride, which as you can see is a lighter color. And now the last step will be to add one gram Passivated lithium nano powder. As you might imagine, nano lithium is very, very fly away kind of substance. You'll probably see little clouds of lithium dust. That's it, that was lucky. One gram exactly. There are a couple of ways to mix nano lithium and the other ingredients. Uh, one of them is the traditional way in a mortar and pestle, but I really only recommend that if you have access to a fume cabinet or if you're working in a glove bag. Either way, it's tricky. I'm going to use a machine, and when I use the machine, it's, the, the mix is sealed inside another container, so there's no danger of dust flying around in the lab. The next stage of the process is to thoroughly mix the ingredients. And the secret is, the shaker machine uses these stainless steel balls. And they go in there with the fuel mix. And we have a little squirt of argon. Like so. Looking for heat internet store, we like to share the knowledge.